So, <laughs> today we are going to be talking about light and light intensity and frequency and wavelength. So, who can tell me what form light travels through the air in? By shoe? A wave. Good job. We're so smart. So, if this is a light wave, <laughs> the wavelength is measured by from here to here. That's the wavelength. And that's the symbol for wavelength. And frequency is like, if this is the scale of time, and this is one time unit, then the frequency is the amount of wave in one unit time. So if you have a wave, a light wave that's like that, then your frequency is higher. So, and the speed of light is constant, and it's C equals 3 times 10 to the 17 nanometers. And to calculate either the wavelength or the frequency of any other wave of light wave, you do C equals wavelength times frequency. So you know C, and if you know one or the other, then you can figure it out. They're inversely related. Um, so in today's lab, you're going to try and figure out what the effect of different frequency laser pointers is on cell growth of an onion cell. And so you can use one or two, how many other onions you feel comfortable with. And let's say this is your onion. I, you should draw seven circles onto it. Or if you want to use more than one onion, then you need to have seven circles total amongst the onions. One is the control, so you don't shine any light on it. And you have your green, red, and blue laser pointers. Blue is the highest frequency. Green is the second highest. And red is the third. The lowest, and so you have two circles for red, two circles for blue, and two circles for green. And within each color, you shine it on one circle for five minutes, and then the other circle for ten minutes. Um, and after you're done shining it, you let the onion sit for either 24 to 48 hours, and then you peel off the outer membrane and you look at it under a microscope, and you compare it to the control and try and see if you can find any differences in cell shape or cell the number of cells in the area or whatever. Any questions? Yeah? Uh, so when you're looking under the microscope, what um, are you looking for? Like what sort of differences might you see? Well, the control tells you what a typical onion cell looks like without any light ex exposure. And so um, we're trying to see whether the uh, number of cells in that same area are greater or lower and if the light has any effect on cell shape or the number of nucleuses or anything like that. Yeah? There's a big time difference between 24 hours and 48 hours. If we peel one at 24 and one at 48, will it not affect the results of the cell shape? And if we peel one at 24 and one at 48, should it, should it be the same? Well, you're not supposed to peel one at 24 and one at 48. You have to do them at the same time. So you, so you do it and then you peel at the same time later. So that whether it's 24 or 40, all are consistent. So that's not a variable. And then when you are looking at the images under the microscope, you can take pictures of them using the computer, and you can print those pictures out and look at those to record your observations. Any other questions? Oh, so the diameter of the circle, does it, what is the diameter of the area that the light has to be shined upon? Is there a particular diameter um, that the area must be? No, but the laser pointer, if this is your laser pointer, then when you shine it, it's only going to cover a certain area, but you need to make sure that when you shine them on all seven circles or six circles, that you don't vary the distance away from the onion it is, because that's going to alter. And what is that distance supposed to be? Um, just as close as you can without touching it, because that will produce the highest effect and make the results most of, like, apparent. 